What are the differences that I've seen in my own experience between first time buyers and more experienced buyers? If we're gonna talk about first time home buyers, most of my experience has been actually with first time buyers and, and I love working with that demographic. Here are the things that I've, that I've seen, things that I notice more often. So the biggest thing with first time buyers is the overall lack of experience, which is perfectly fine. That is what I am here to do and that's what I'm here to help with and here to help guide you through that process. But sometimes they'll find that they need a little bit more handholding throughout the process and that's perfectly fine. An upside to working with first time buyers is they're oftentimes more receptive to the guidance that I'm offering and that I'm willing to share with them. Another thing that I've noticed about first time buyers is that oftentimes they'll probably got a parent in their ear or somebody that somebody else that has bought uh, in their ear. They're trying to treat it like it's still 1998 and the market still behaves the same way. And that's just not the case. And so that would be one thing that I would always caution a first time buyer about is, I do this every single day. I know what the market is doing. Let me guide you through that. And, and let's tell mom and dad or, or whoever it is to, to take a step back and, and just enjoy watching you buy your first place and, and celebrate you in that manner. You know, with more experienced buyers, obviously they've done this at least at least one time before. So oftentimes the initial meeting is, is more of a refresher for them and, and seeing how some of the intricacies in the process works. Has anything changed uh, since they've purchased their last home? They're still plenty receptive to the guidance that we offer. We're, we're professionals. We're very good at what we do here on the Carrie Shoal team. They're oftentimes, you know, they're, they're open to working with the lenders that we suggest, even if they use somebody else seven years ago or 10 years ago, whenever they bought their last place. I will say that most experienced buyers typically, you know, whether it's a move up buyer or they're building their first new construction home, we'll see that that's oftentimes representative of a higher price point. First time buyers do tend to be a little bit more emotional about the entire process in general because you know what this is the largest financial transaction i've ever made in my life probably up to this point so one of the best feelings for me especially as a realtor is is when i get to hand the keys to a first-time home buyer just say like hey thank you for trusting me you know for getting us all the way to this point i know that this is a huge moment in your life and i appreciate you you know letting me be a part of your you know your journey and your story so that's that's obviously a super emotional uh a part of it and we, we do see that a little bit more often um with first time buyers at least in my own experience yeah even if you've been through this process once or twice or however many times before it's always going to benefit you to hire an experienced agent Right? Somebody that's going to be able to walk you through the process, walk you through, you know, any intricacies of the process with the, whether it be the contract, even like lending regulations, things that may have changed since the last time that you've purchased, you're only going to benefit from, from hiring a great agent, right? Somebody that's going to be able to give you access to properties that you can't find anywhere online. And there's a list, a huge list of upsides and, and benefits to you, no matter how many times that you've been through this. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like and subscribe below. My name is Charlie. I'm a buyer's agent on the Kerry Shull team. For more information, go to kerryshull.com. Give us a call. We'd love to help. Thanks for sticking around to the end of our video. If you're interested in more videos like this, click here. And if you want to subscribe, click down here. We look forward to talking to you soon and make sure you comment below. We always respond and look forward to hearing from you.